Tremble by my 
to skies and iron soil Marching on with endless toil Stars align a blazing trail Unify, we shall not fail to think supremacy our creed and call conquest now will never fall engine roar galactic tide strengthen on Side by side Planets bow To our command Terran power Across the land Unity In endless night Together We ignite The light trail unified we shall not fail Strengthened on her side by side Planets bow to our command Terran power across the land Unity in endless night Together we ignite the light
<laughs> all right excuse me folks oh sorry about that welcome welcome everyone to tabletop tuesday while i fix my avi because it's basically being brain dead uh i love how i'm always like looking off to the right because i'm i'm trying to like watch the screen on my right and my eyeballs just keep going, ah! oh excuse me Welcome to Tabletop Tuesday, where basically I talk about nerdy shit with whoever shows up. And play some sort of game for your entertainment. Alright, so we have a couple of uh, announcements to get through before we actually get into the stream. We have our sponsors, Shock by Gaming Servers and W Energy Drinks. Both of them down below with W. Use my name, Ruby Mad Hatter, as the code... And you get 10% off your entire purchase. All right. And uh, Shockbite's good for all your Minecraft server needs. They do a bunch of other games, but uh, as long as the server has good Linux support, then you're good. Hey, Kane. It's time for the hype. As I was trying to tell you, there are no bullets left in this gun, you see? All right. As I was trying to tell you, there are no bullets left in this gun, you see? Huh. Oh, we got another check-in from Emil... Em... Emil Lichen? Emil Lichen? How do you pronounce that? 
I am not good at this. Hmm. All right. I'm sure there will be some correction somewhere telling me how to pronounce it. <laughs> um. So, other fun announcements. We are still taking entries for Stellaris Eterna Season 3. So, if you want to create some sort of faction for us to deal with, by all means, fill out the sheet to the best of your ability. I know it's not going to be completely accurate, but I'll build it as close as I can. All right? All right. <coughs> Sorry if I cough a lot and sniffle. I got allergies, and it is kicking my ass. That's why I didn't stream last night. Excuse me. Because I couldn't talk yesterday. At all. I've... I sounded like a 20-year-old chain smoker. Forty year old chain smoker, man. You know me work we will be I'll be working, working here. Can't wait to see Rimwalt. Oh yeah, that's coming up right now actually. And just now switching over to that. Here we go. Uh by the way, there is a channel point redeem. It's three hundred gold, and you can add yourself as a colonist. To my colony. And where we left off, a bunch of my people got jacked up. There's blood everywhere. And I'm... The kid is drawing on the floor. Repeatedly. And I still have a colonist unburied. I don't have any bots now. Alright, so I need to manufacture worker droids. Oof. That hurts a lot. <clears throat> Man, that didn't go well, that last fight. And we saved the kid. At the cost of multiple people and robots dying. Oof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, ancient war thing. Alright, everybody's asleep for, except for AP, who is, I think, naked? Yep, they're naked. We need to make some clothes. Wait a minute. There we go. AP, wear some fucking clothes. Uh, are you naked? Friend Rosa died. No androids. Are you wearing co are you wearing pants? We'll take it. Put on some clothes. Does that work for you? Yep. I should be sleeping with a lover or spouse. Oh, right. Maverick and her are lovers. So now I need to build a double bed. I'll work on that. <clears throat> Who was that? That was AP. AP and Maverick have hooked up. <clears throat> oh, boy. Right. Maverick is making components. We need components and steel to make another droid, which we need droids. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I know there is cremation. Yeah, electric crematorium. Okay, 
let's see, where can I put this? That'll be helpful. I guess I could put it in the store room. Yeah, put it there. And then <laughs> put a chair in front of it. <coughs> Curse you, friggin' ones. God damn. I love this style of organizing, which putting stuff anywhere until I need it. I'm the same. Yep, it's like, fuck it, I'll find a place to put this somewhere. But you're not optimizing your base well. You're, you're doing all kinds of horrible things. Well, I mean, what do you want from me, man? Ooh, better choice. There. I mean, I gotta put that room to work for something. And all the bodies are going to go there anyway, so this, this works out. On to the cloth shooting target. Yeah, eventually we'll get that. You know what? Second thought? No. Let's not do that. I need... Shooting. Cloth shooting target. There we go. Problem solved. Hey. Oh, we convinced Fizzcar to join our religion. Nice. He's feeling depressed, though. Genetic psychite dependency. Oh boy, please tell me you're not gonna. Your jaw is shattered. Oh, that's not good. So he can't talk. And he needs to ingest psychite on a regular basis to survive. And that ain't happening. Because I don't have it. So in this case, how much longer we have deficiency? 30 days fall into coma. So I have 30 days to basically get their shit together and get them sent to a a base. What are you good at? Plants. Well, I could send you out and make a fart to the farm. That should work nice nicely. <clears throat> Spartacus is over there. Alright. My goal is never to have more people than this. That's six. Ten. So I don't want any more than ten people here. Like, people. That require sleep. Well, actually, eleven if... I'll add more if there's, like, double bunking and shit. Alright. Alright. What is going on here? I don't want the lever action rifle. The, the rifle can wait. Alright. Um, put the guns on suspend. So that way I can use the components for other things. Because I need them for building shit. All right, Maverick, get to work. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's going to bed. Oh, God damn. <coughs> oh, well. Oh. That might help. Regrow seed. Oh. School. Katie, do two hours. anything. This car went berserk. Final straw was missing a tongue. I mean, I would piss me off too. But he has nobody to punch. As I was trying to tell you, there are no bullets left in this gun, you see? No bullets left in this gun, you say? Lizzie, you were playing Palia. Nice. 
I heard that's a fun game. How's it going? Oh, I have a prisoner who has no jaw and no tongue, and he's pissed off about that. Um, I have a dead ro- <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I have a dead robot that needs to be given a funeral because we're all kind of robots here, just in different forms. Um, though we do have a, um, a devil, an impid. We have Spartacus, who's a baseliner. Killian is also a baseliner. AP is a vampire. So we have a vampire. Oh boy. Well, the vampire, vampire found love, so, I mean, that's... Build that. Thank you. Enjoy that. And in this case, we'll set the owner to... Maverick and AP. There we go. I wisen. Oh, AP's getting married to Maverick. That's great. <sighs> of course. <clears throat> Wyson shows up and then immediately fireballs the place. I'm sorry, Katie, but you're not going to get really a great education. Why? Because we don't have a school yet. You know what? Why don't we do fix that? School desk. And... I know there's a blackboard, I think it is? Yeah, blackboard. There we go. We'll put it in the same room where we cremate corpses because, you know, learning about the circle of life. Oh, yeah. That'll go well. Kid will get an education. Sort of. I mean, forgive me on this one, but we are mostly androids in this thing. I know it's just baseliner, but, like... A lot of the stuff is, like, backstory-wise, we're androids escaping from stuff. Yeah, it was a soldier, android, and a mercenary. Yeah, Maverick's good at shooting. Like, really good at shooting. But he's getting much better at crafting. Level, skill level 15, strong master. Okay, that works. And he is still making plenty of those things. Oh, hello. Let's see, what's the graphics? I like that one. All right, so now we have that. Now we'll tell it to cremate a corpse, and we do that forever. So that way, we will always be burning corpses. The shred mechanoids. Is it the smithy I have? No. <clears throat> I think it's this one, the smelter. Yep. Smelt, destroy a thing. For some reason, it's not working, so let's try with weapons. Do forever, but this time, detail. 30%. Inequality, then do weapon again. <clears throat> In this case, that. Hey, Sator! Thank you for the lurk, friend. 
30%, do forever, and normal, do forever. All right, and then we do the same for apparel. Let's do forever, and it's 30%. And then the other apparel is quality. Destroy apparel. So that way I don't have a bunch of random shit that doesn't help me at all. Because that will be helpful. Alright, so that should work. Let's see what happens. If I tell AP to go over to here and say, clean tomb. Oh, it's labeled as a tomb. Oh, goody. My storage area is labeled as a tomb. Uh, I need to fix that. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, that's a little problematic there. That is very, very problematic. Oh, boy. Uh, let me hit reset real quick on that, because something seems off. Okay, it's fine. I guess I had a lag spike or something, because my... Uh, dropped frames for network was in the red and I was like, what's going on? That is not good. <clears throat> uh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're burning corpses. Yay! I won't have those in there anymore. <clears throat> Alright, that's taken care of. He's just pissed in that room. <clears throat> Alright. Now that I have that, I want to build to production. No. Structure. Where is it? This one was in production. I might be wrong. Storage, maybe? No. Where, oh, where is the <coughs> animal pen thing? see any animal pen and furniture. Oh, it's in miscellaneous. Pen marker. Here we go. Alright. Oh, AP is mass cremating. So we don't have to keep looking at corpses, because those are bad. Alright. That's taking care of that. Oh. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh. Right, no, nope, that's not what I want. Dusty complex. I would love to go, but I can't right now. Let's see where it is. How far away is it, is the question. Oh, it's not far. <clears throat> That's good to know. All right, what are we using the components on? Good war. I'm trying to see what we're using components on and I can't find anything. 
There's that. We gotta build. <coughs> Thank you, Wizen. We gotta build the cloth covers before that's gonna be useful. So let me turn that off. <laughs> Anytime, buddy. <laughs> uh. All right, Fiskar's berserk rage has come to an end. Hey, pure cheese. How was your stream earlier? Did it go well for you, friend? So many giant flowers. All right, so we don't have... Who's supposed to be cooking? Oh, we don't have a cook. That's a problem. Killian, you are my best cook. Oh, boy. Yeah, Killian, get to cooking place. We need meals. We need meals a lot less than... We need meals a lot more than we need research. I'm doing okay. I'm surviving. Um, yeah, we don't need people eating raw food. We're slow. I just realized I didn't have a cook, so we're going to have to get Killian to cook for now. Haiti is not good at... doesn't have any in cooking yet. And I'm hoping to improve that. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the hundred bits, Pure. No, it'd be against my moral compass. Your f***ing moral compass is <clears throat> a roulette wheel! Thank you so much for the biddies. Uh, uh, our owlbear, Biddy, he's going to be playing with us for a long time, friend. Thank you so much. I got you, my friend. Oh, uh, hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate the help from everybody. Power needed. Okay. Oh. Yeah, okay. Problem solved. What is it? Target temperature is negative 20. Okay, so we'll go with that. I gotta sort some stuff, but I hope it goes well, boss. Hey, no problem. You go do what you need to do, friend. Working and twerking away. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Thanks. Ugh. <coughs> we got thermal generator. We got solar. I got a little nanometric. <laughs> Watch this and see where the hell it disappears to. Someone's grabbing it. I just don't know who. Spartacus, are you naked? No, he's wearing pants. Okay. I've been having a problem with my colonists lately deciding that, you know, fuck clothing, apparently. Escort for Maverick. That way he is never by himself and he has guns. I think Katie is watching work being performed. Neat. Wait, I missed where that went. Is it going into this? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. That's what I need. I need a droid. <clears throat> oh no, now there are two of them. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, 
there goes my Abby having a seizure. Alright. We still have the colonists is left unburied. Okay, Maverick, I know you want to make components, and that's helpful. And we do need that. Come on. Where are you going? Are you going to sleep? No, you're teaching a lesson. Okay. <laughs> hey, kid, these are um, Milton's uh, Militors. They have shotguns, and they will basically wreck anything they come across. These are friends. At some point, I need to fix an agra hand. Jesus Christ. Still have one more. He seems to be doing a decent job. <clears throat> Alright, what are we missing? Uh-oh. AP is low image. Uh, AP... Why can't I feed off of you? AP, why can't you feed off of him? Okay, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, blood feed is acceptable. Imogen farms are acceptable. There we go. Now I gotta do that. Yeah, feed on him real quick, because you're running low, and the last thing I need you to do is run out. Alright. Medical emergency. Oh, Fiskar. He has extreme blood loss. Well, I mean, if he dies, he dies. I would like to keep him, but fuck him if he doesn't live. Because, god damn it. AP is now making a component. What's Maverick doing? Oh, he's teaching a lesson in shooting. Oh, oh god. That, that kid's gonna learn how to fire a gun. Of, out of everything first. A fresh, sa uh, a flesh sample to feed your now cannibal. She is not a cannibal, she is a vampire. There's a difference. She drinks blood, not eat the flesh. <clears throat> there is a difference. Go to bed, Rose. Really? Go pester your mother, then. Okay. Hey, it's a small difference, but it is a difference. And not to mention, you know, these guys attacked me, so might as well put them to use. Ugh. Yeah, we got plenty of fish. Uh, uh, plenty of fish. A crap ton of rice. He is still te Okay, maybe I did too much schooling. Do that. Four hours of school should be sufficient. We got a logging camp nearby, which I don't care about. <clears throat> uh, Rose, pause that, please. Oh no, now what? There's an elemental rift. Yeah. Oh no. Put on my headphones. Alright. 
<coughs> oh, excuse me. Christ lungs, why the hell are you being that this much of a pain in the ass? Delta. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to die. But looks like we're gonna be dealing with Alright, looks like they're good. Okay. What the hell was that? Alright, uh, elemental part. Let's see. You don't want you. Come on, get in there. Because we gotta get rid of that portal. If we don't, it's gonna basically be a problem. What the hell? Elementals are coming through the rift. That's not good. Oh, shit. Big one. Oh, and the woman's down again. Killian's dead. This is about to get jacked. Okay, there we go. Alright, Spartacus. Are you kidding me? Come on. Get rid of that. I'll drink. Alright, so Killian is dead, so we just lost another colonist. Because the game decided that elemental rift time was apparently now. Repair him, please. Where's the other one? Oh, it's up there. Completely fucked. Okay. How can I pay for more androids? There's a channel point redeem called um, Add Colonist. No, the Twitch toolkit is not working. I have to do it manually. Hey, Imposter Cure. <clears throat> but yeah, you... You put in 300. Um, I type in a command. It gives you a link to the... Colonist thing. And you get to make a colonist. Really? There's also a pissed off turtle. Oh, 
Yep. There's a face hunter. Yeah. Good God. Oh. The priest got killed again. God damn it. It's like the death job or something. Like you get the job as a priest and that guarantees you're gonna fucking die. Uh Yeah, we're still fixing that thing. <laughs> All right. Um, guess I'm going with some clarity there. If that increases mana recovery rate. Uh, as I was saying, though, if you want to add a colonist, it's 300 gold. You add a colonist, and uh, I send the form link. So that's that's how this that works. Yeah, you can pick him up. That's safe. That's safe. Okay. In the channel points. There is a 300 channel point one that says add a colonist. No option for spending. See that that's the redeem right there. It's called add colonist. It's saying that you can't spend it. Oh my god, the elemental got back up. God damn it. Is this good? Just leave it alone. No. Alright. So then I type in... <clears throat> Use that link and you get to make a colonist. Let me know when you're done. You know what the other thing was? Killian was our cook. God damn it. No one else has cooking skills. Jesus Christ. Alright. AP, you're gonna be getting us all sick, it looks like. What mods are these? Uh, I haven't seen the large font. All right, so mods wise, these are all the mods I have. Quite a few. All right. A lot of vanilla expanded. Um, uh, Rimworld of Magic, Alien Race, Camera Plus, you know, all kinds of stuff. All right. Over the cooler. Okay, so yeah. Alright, there we go. Now we have our freezer back complete. <clears throat> That's an appropriate amount of mods. Yeah, I felt I felt like it was a fair amount. Alright. Now we just have to make food. And hopefully AP doesn't die. Christ. Hey, do me a favor. Construct that. Make that. And construct this too. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> Alright, so we need worker droid and that is Killian all right Did 
pavilion is down here, I believe. Yep, there you are. Uh, okay, get to work. What do we got? Three more components. Alright. Alright, we have a response. If my thing would stop having a seizure. Okay, colonist made. Let's see what we got. If the thing would let me do it. Christ, let me pull it up, please. Alright. We need you, and we got to start crafting. We need a female. And the skills are going to be cooking, medical, and social. Okay. I think there's a chef. Yeah, chef will get cooking. So we need medical and social. Medical and social. Corporate assistant, maybe? That's social and intellectual. Okay. Biosphere assistant. Let's see. Plants, animals, dump. No. Android. No. Researcher is probably intellectual yet. Let's see, do I have anything with social and medical? I could just roll the skills until I get them. Come on. Let me have social, please. There we go. Social, cooking, and medical. Got it. Awesome. Oh, give me a second. I got blood on my nose again. God damn. I hate these allergies. Ugh. 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 Alright, let's see what traits you picked. Android, okay, so we leave you as an android, that's good. Asexual, okay. Gormund. There's Gormund. Let's see, any classes in here? Chef, okay. You want the chef class. Uh, oh, where are you? There's medic. Medic. Oracle. Chef. Uh, abstinence. Hunger increases 25 feet slower. Okay. <clears throat> um, oh, there's gifted. Or is abstinent? I know it exists. Swiss is resilient. It's near frail, muscular, and cold tolerance. There it is. Abstinent. Anything else? Because I think, yeah, you get two more traits. Oh, you didn't grab two more traits. Okay. All right, let's get Let's make sure uh, It's less poison chance, but it slows it down. We don't need that. Oh Good hygiene that'll be good because it lowers food poison chance and I think industrious yet yeah, industrious Yep. Okay. And her name is Cheshire.
I love it. I wouldn't let me uh, do that. C H E S Cheshire. Please stop fighting me. God damn. All right. So we tell you to print. And then we go into here and say finish crafting. And voila! Cheshire is taken care of. Let's give her. What is the best ranged weapon we have? Because that's what. Chain shotgun. It's bio coated. That's not helpful. Machine pistol. Okay. Alright, so we got that one taken care of. She's been added to the colony. Awesome. Now we just gotta fix... Thank you, Tassie. I appreciate that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right. Um, there we go. That goes there. All right. Cheshire. Time for you to cook some food. All right. All right, so now we have a chef. Oh, yeah, I forgot chef. Oh, wait. Give me a second. I gotta save and reload so that way Cheshire has her um, class because it's a bug with the mod. Like, I don't have to exit out the game entirely. I just have to reload the game to make sure they have their class. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Cheshire, here we go. Might home cooking. What is this? Presents an ally of a meal. Home cooked mood boost. Sates you. It's a target for them. Okay, neat. Medicinal cooking, post immune system. Cleanses food poisoning. Cool. Combat sets for a short time. Fresh roasted coffee. Removes Clyrus. Okay, moves some sleep in. Tosses an unbelievably spicy pepper at the target, setting them on fire. What? The fuck is that? But granting them increased movement speed and energy regeneration. Okay. Knife toss. Tosses a knife. The chef demonstrates high velocity culinary arts by shooting a flaming projectile at the target and stuns and inflames them. The fuck you say? I'm, I'm gonna probably put points into like the top four. Definitely. Because my goal is to have Sheshar not have to fight much. And because Sheshar is a social person, let's um, give them a roll. There you go. Real quick, we're going to make you the priest so that way everybody stops getting unhappy. <clears throat> Oh, he's fully healed. Cool. I don't know what these guys are used for, but we'll put them there. Successful roll changed. Okay. Yeah, Katie's in town. 
Yeah, we know there's a colonist that's not very yet. Jesus Christ. Chill out, please. Alright. So, grab AP, the fight booker, prioritize burying them, and then prioritize burying them. Uh, prioritize hauling that, and you. Oh no, cat. All right, cool. Hopefully that doesn't draw his attention. I just want to sneak past you and just collect my shit and the corpse, please. Don't be a pain. Nope, he's gonna be melee attacking Spartacus. Oh boy. Okay, never mind. You guys are good. Go. All right. Once again, where's Katie's corpse? There it is. Prioritize burying them. Oh. Uh. Oh, curse my lungs. We'll see what happens. Oh boy. All right. All right, so we got that. We don't need that. Once everybody's awake, that'll be a thing. Give me one second. I'll be right back. I'm going to let this run. I need to have a bio break. <sighs> I'm back. Sorry about that. Downside of being kind of sick is sometimes Mother Nature will call and not let you get a break. Right. Yeah. I'm not having a child there. Just let him deal with that. Or maybe I should. Yeah, it's 80%. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna try to see if we can have a good funeral, so that way people are respected. <coughs> Jesus Christ! And is just seriously fucked. I'm gonna say it's probably a shorter list to point out what isn't completely destroyed. Oh, it's lackluster. I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. We have five out of ten religious points. All right. 
I think I know what I'm gonna have this damn thing do once it's built. And that's, uh... Go to town. On cleaning. Yeah. The nice chat will have it later. More inspired surgery for AP. Jeez. Getting rid of the poor stuff. There we go. Curse you just did a component. Huh, that's weird. Uh. Alright, we're getting that. Oh! Get the screen starter gotten a combat skill. Oh, I need multiple points. Oh, there we go. Man, additional cooking. Alright, so that's probably two. Hunter Rose's Corona. Hey, Jersey. How's that's it going? I was trying to tell you, there are no bullets left in this gun, you see. Oh, civilian. This is a great opportunity for slaughter. How is Jack and Dexter going for you? What is your melee weapon of choice? Once again, the Demon Skull Club. Get that club back in your inventory, apparently. Oh, excuse me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, good luck. Probably some of the later ones will probably be more difficult. <sighs> right, AP's doing that. We are one component short. Come on. Work with me here. Game one. You have the club. Nope, you don't have the club yet. You're still resting. Okay, yeah, you're gonna need it because you're kind of fucked right now. That reminds me, Sparta. No, it wasn't Spartacus. There it is, AP. Can, AP, can you do me a favor? Heal that. Did it help much? Didn't look like it did much. Go there for a second. Alright, fast heal. Yeah, it is making a difference. Just had to be in the same room. All right, might be five. Hoping to do it in four for a birthday stream. Oh, that would be cool as hell. I'll have to try to make sure to make it for your birthday stream. Do me a favor, just remind me later, because that will be really helpful. Because I'm really bad about remembering shit. Alright. That's G. That's a tomb. This is a room. Ugh. 
10, 14. Okay. <laughs> As I was trying to tell you, there are no bullets I mean, left I in guess this gun, that works. You see? <laughs> hey, tripped. Call of Duty Warzone. Happy Tuesday. Yes, happy Tuesday. Alright, so we know there, there are alpaca guinea pigs, which I want. So I'll turn those into food. Anything with hairs. There's buffalo. Okay, there, let me do something here. are definitely ones I want. Same thing with yaks. Those are good. Everything else can be... Oh, an alpaca. Those are good. I don't have a... Is the management thing gone again? Yep. Management is gone. Which means I have to... Deal with it myself. God damn it. Am I okay? I have like allergies plus my cough is getting pretty bad. So I'm dealing with that. My nose is running like a bitch. So, fun times. Yesterday I didn't have a voice at all. That's why I had to cancel yesterday's stream. Droid is printing. Thank you, gods. Really? Game, come on, man. Alright. No, nope, you stay down. Us four are gonna have to handle it. Oh, I have all of them already. Okay. Where, where are they? There they are. All right. One down. Get away from my base, please. All right, now we head up here. A confidence woman? Jesus Christ. That sounds great. Like, yeah, I'm here to basically prop everybody up. And you're a celebrity? Yes, I'm totally a celebrity. All right. Okay. You keep saying that. She's wearing an ankle monitor. Jesus. Holy shit, dog. Go. All right, we're good. <coughs> ah. 
That is uh, kind of fucked. Spartacus is picking up some of the insect jelly. That's fine. 75% done. Come on. We need a... We need a cleaner real bad. And I can't build a little cleaning droid, so I'll have to use you. Alright, come on. Okay, I don't know who that is. Who is Reginald Bell Johnson? And why is it a cop-out? I usually don't watch Dancing with the Stars, so I have zero clue what you're referring to. Oh, Carl Winslow in uh, Family Matters. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'd definitely root for him, too, then. <clears throat> Shit. Oh, Sheshire is gained a new skill. Yeah, we'll go with our cooking. We have a droid! Okay, naturally you do that. Then we're gonna have you clean, and then haul. Like that. So there is that. And then... Everything else is threes, that's fine. What do you do? You work. All the time. Yep, now I get the horrible punch. Yep. Uh, I'll equip the pillow real quick. And off he goes. To basically, clean up. Because this place is a giant friggin' mess. And oh my god, we have vomit and blood and shit everywhere. Oh, we are going to have to fix that. All right, you got a few left. AP, do you have your fast heal? Yep. Get over there. All right, and I want you to heal. All right, now you're free. Alright, you're Come almost on. there. You just have a fucking destroyed kidney and a right leg that's injured. By the way, Jersey, if you want to be in this colony, you're more than welcome to. It's 300 gold entry, which is our channel points here. And then all you gotta do is just fill out as much of the form as you want, and... I go to town. AP is uh, making that. Alright, how are you doing? Yeah, he's getting up there. To be brutally honest, you know what? I'm just gonna maintain. As much as I would win. Oh, wait. Never mind. I'll recruit. Yeah, she nommed on him. Again? Holy crap, you level pretty fucking quick. Alright, so Shire is going to town, constantly cooking, so we'll have plenty of simple meals ready to go. I am constantly making components, which is good. Uh, Alright. So while this is going on, there are some news things I'm going to bring up because some shit has gone down. Alright, in the world of, uh, well, nerd stuff. Alright. The first thing is, um... was uh, Iron Mouse lost her YouTube channel. Her VOD channel is gone. It is it gone, not coming back anytime soon, but it is being discussed. 
All right. So what happened was she got ex basically she was being extorted for her personal info. I am saying this as conjecture. There's been no confirmed evidence of it. Um, when questioned by YouTube, when people have questioned YouTube about whether or not there's any other way to, to deal with this, YouTube commented that the dispute method is the only way forward, requiring Iron Mouse to give up her personal info to a random third party. All right. This third party, which has not been identified, open publicly anyway, uh, refuses to speak to VSojo and YouTube. Both of them have attempted to contact this third party to work something out with the, you know, these all these claims, these copyright strikes. Um, but they have refused to contact them back, which means it's kind of likely they are fishing for the personal info is my opinion someone named Ezi Desu which is one of Iron Mouse's workers stated that no one is attempting to claim the videos to hurt her or to fish for her ill uh, real life name uh, in order to expose them um, she claims that the one who strike, struck the channel is simply hit probably hit the remove immediately button and all that here's the thing though Ezi I would normally agree with you, except for one slight thing. One, if all they did was hit a button, why aren't they talking to Visojo? Why aren't they talking to YouTube? Why are they making those refusals to communicate with them? Okay. So, if they're not trying to hurt her or get her real-life information, what is the end goal here? Explain this to me, please. What is the end goal? And then, once again, if they just, all they hit was the remove immediately button, why aren't they refusing to talk to V Sojo? Why is no one able to get a hold of them? It, it's kind of bullshit. Uh, Iron Mouse said on Twitch, though, that her channel may be returning. She has a legal team on the case. Um... This is just another example of basically the rampant copyright abuse in YouTube. Basically, you can ruin someone's entire livelihood, and there's no repercussions for it. None. It, you can make all the false claims you want, and literally there'd be no repercussions for it. Right now. And that's kind of bullshit. Uh, there was a smaller YouTuber, uh, Taiga, aka Saber Tutora that um, had a similar issue and they reached out to YouTube and YouTube replied to them that they um, only assist with partner YouTubers, even though Taiga has a partnered channel before it was terminated. So apparently Taiga just wasn't big enough for YouTube to give a fuck. YouTube, yeah, you need to fix this. All right, take your copyright system Throw it in the waste bin. It is worthless. It is literally hurting people like we mentioned last week. It is. Get the fuck rid of it. Right now. And just use people for now. And then eventually move on from people to, you know, an actual system later that actually fucking works. So there's that. So that is what's going on with the whole Iron Mouse situation. Uh, to move further on... Then we have what happened with Zentrea, and now what's happening with Fifi. Uh, Zentrea got hit with a sexuality warning because, and I fucking shit you not, um, it's kind of dumb. Uh, they said that she was sexualizing her content because she had a switch on to put her VTube Avi in a bikini. Not a micro bikini, like a full bikini. Alright? Like, it's not anything too crazy. She's she's a dragon lady in a fucking bikini. Congratulations. The reason why I point out that this is incredibly bullshit is... We've literally had... Real life women getting on Twitch... Covering themselves with sensor bars... And you get to put your name on that sensor bar 
if you donate enough money or gifted subs. I shit you not. So this basically begs the question, YouTube, what the fuck, uh, not YouTube, sorry, Twitch, what the fuck are you doing? Because th th it's insane that like we've had two VTubers, Zentreya was one, Beefy is the other. Beefy has been banned six times. And she even got her lawyer involved saying, yo, chill the fuck out. Um, and she doesn't even know why she's being banned. It's, they keep saying it's sexualized content. And she's like, um, what? It's kind of fucking wild and dumb and stupid. And it kind of pisses me off. Because I'm sitting here watching my fellow VTubers get completely just roasted on a spit because someone at Twitch basically doesn't like cartoons or something. It's the only thing I can fucking think of at this point, and it's kind of aggravating me. So, there's that. Um, let's see, the next one. Oh, here we go. Um, Star Wars Outlaws. Apparently, the game was not considered a financial success, and investors at AG Investments are not happy about this. And they have called for a strategic and structural change. Uh, they call for the defunding of various projects, cutting of staff, the possible removal of the CEO. Um, in an open letter written by AJ Investments uh, to Ubisoft's board of directors, along with the CEO, Yves Guillemont, and sending a copy letter directly to Tencent, which is Ubisoft's main stakeholder. Uh, they criticize Ubisoft's current performance and strategic direction. While some are blaming Star Wars, Star Wars Outlaws for this, because this happened not long after the release of that game. Uh, to be honest, it's not just Star Wars Outlaws. Um, they like they had August thirtieth. They had a massive drop, which that could have been Star Wars Outlaws. But there's also been similar drops drops in their stocks, July seventeenth, June seventh, and May fifteenth. So basically, Ubisoft has just been really fucking the pooch here. And not doing particularly stellar. Uh, the AJ Investors suggested four primary solutions. Uh, go private, selling the company, changing current management and ousting Guillemont as CEO, or starting a proxy fight via French minority law. This process would include optimizing staff levels, aka laying people off or firing them, uh, and focusing on other properties. Um, probably like Splinter Cell and a few of their other ones that haven't been touched in a while. Um, AJ Investments claims that Ubisoft is being mismanaged and the company is hostage to the Guillemot family members and Tencent who seems to be taking advantage of that, of the family. Um, basically this is nothing new for me on Tencent's front because Tencent likes to basically pull shit like this all the time. They will run a company practically into the ground, buy their stock at, like, pennies on the dollar, and then proceed to turn it into some sort of mobile, you know, cash grab bullshit. This is not a new pattern for Tencent. Uh, now, there are people who are claiming that the latest blunders of Ubisoft game design are due to woke ideologies instead of focusing on making good games. This is complete bullshit. Um, there are plenty of games being made by with people with progressive ideals, and the games are doing fine. It's not progressive ideals that are basically ruining gaming. It is bad companies doing dumb shit that literally, you know, ruin these games. Um, it's basically companies taking shortcuts to get more profit and then wondering why play, p, p, uh, wondering why players are not enjoying their unfinished games. It, it's literally that. It's There's no other way around it. It's dumb. It's stupid. It is aggravating. Um, and I hope that Ubisoft removes Head from Sphincter sometime in the near future. 
So that way we can actually start getting some good games because Ubisoft has some good properties. They just keep doing the same dumb shit over and over and over again. And there's nothing we can do to stop it. Oh, Sheshar had fired recruitment. Cool. And then the last thing to discuss news-wise, and this is, oh my god, very aggravating for me. Um, and that is, uh, this info, by the way, was stated at a Goldman Sachs conference. So it has been, from what I've been able to find, confirmed. Chris, uh, Chris Cox, the current guy in charge of Wizards of the Coast, said that all of his friends are using AI for their D&D games, which is apparently a clear signal that we should be embracing it. He claims that he plays D&D with 30 to 40 people on the regular. That is fucking insane. Um, Chris Cox stated, inside of development, we've already been using AI and we'll be de deploying it more significantly and liberally internally. Claims that has been mostly used for machine learning and proprietary stuff. I.e. Wizards of the Coast head guy Chris Cox just admitted they used AI to help them with their, their latest books. Essentially. This is corp corporal speak for, yeah, we used AI to write these books and do some of the art. Congrats. We saved money. Whee! Um, it, it's kind of pissed me off, like, hearing this because it's just like, it's AI. I love AI. I like using AI for various things, especially for personal use. But in no way should a company that makes as much money as Wizards of the Coast does should be using AI to do their shit. It makes zero fucking sense. It is very aggravating, very annoying, and it's bullshit. <clears throat> oh, okay, sorry. Um, I'll give you a bad example of AI use. You ready for this? AI is often used for employee hiring. It'll basically, you, whenever you turn in a resume to get a job, the AI will look over like hundreds of resumes and then figure out, okay, these are the ones we kind of want to go with. Let's use these guys, okay? So on and so forth. And the problem is it's being done like the AI, that's what I'm looking for. The stipulations for the AI to decide what is a good job or not. Oh, hey, AP! AP, I don't know how much you've been catching of uh, the news. I've been catching everybody up on. Um, we'll see here in a second. Are you okay? I hear nothing from the AP. She did her redeem and then hasn't said anything. Okay, so I'll continue with the AI thing real quick. Uh, so, like a bad example, an example of bad AI is um, hello, I'm here. Hello, uh, all right. Um, we're going over something that came up in the news with AI. Apparently, Dungeons and Dragons used AI for their books. And this was admitted by Chris Cox, the head of Wizards of the Coast, at a Goldman Sachs conference. He said that the reason why they did it is because all of his friends are using AI in their D&D games. So it was a clear signal that we really need to be embracing it. And he claims that he plays D&D &D with 30 to 40 people regularly every week. Yeah. That's a thing. So, I was going over, like, an example of a bad use for AI. Um, AI is often used to hire people. 
Like, it'll go through all the uh, the applications and the resumes and go, okay, these 10 are probably your best bet. And it's like, okay, slight problem there, though. Um, the HR person picked what is considered the best option. And to put it bluntly, nine times out of ten, the a uh, the HR person doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about when it comes to actually getting the job done. So, inevitably, you get a bunch of people who can't fucking do the job, and the person who originally put in the job request to HR is getting frustrated because they're not getting good workers, everything's going to hell. Now, here's a great example of it. All right, here we go. Um, there was a job requirement that was several years ago, mind you, um, that stated that the candidate needed at least four years of fast API coding knowledge. All right, four years is what they said in order to get the job. Here's the problem though. Thing is, the creator of fast API, hey, Sparkle, uh, Sparkles Luke, I'm doing okay. I'm doing fine. I'm I'm educating on the fucking bullshit that is a AI. Alright. Alright, so this job they said the AI told the HR person, and the HR per person agreed with this, that they required four years of fast API coding. Uh coding knowledge. Thing is, um the creator of Fast API, Sebastian Ramirez, did not qualify for the job. Why? Because when this job was posted, he had invented Fast API one and a half years ago. So, they required four years of experience of something that had only existed for a year and a half. At, do you see the problem? AI is only as smart as the people who basically program it. And let's be brutally honest. Or, sorry, not even programming. AI is only as smart as the people feeding it information. You want to create another example of bad AI? Someone put an AI on Twitter and let it just interact with people. All right? Just let it, you know, talk with people, react, make posts, uh, make comments, replies, retweets, so on and so forth. In less than a month, the AI had become a far right wing Nazi, neo Nazi. Yeah. That's a fucking thing. Um, now, some websites have done things to help combat, you know, people faking AI as actual work. Uh, Kickstarter requires you to put a badge on if you've used AI to create any of the goods you wish to promote on their website. So that's a good thing. Um. <coughs> now, I'm about to quote... Wizards of the Coast's own document on AI. Here's what they said earlier when they had their first debacle with AI. Like, the inventor not getting the coding job. I don't know. I, I feel like there should be. There should be, like, a Reddit subreddit just, like, bad AI dumb shit. Alright. This is what Wizards of the Coast, by the way, says about AI. It says, Magic and D&D have been built on innovation, ingenuity, and hard work of talented people who sculpt these beautiful creative games. As such, we require artists, writers, and creatives contributing to Magic the Card Game and D&D Tabletop RPG to refrain from using AI generative tools to create final Magic or D&D products. Um... When Wizards of the Coast got caught using AI before, they stated that it came from a vendor that they did not check the vendor's work appropriately. When that happened, one of Magic's primary artists in the past, Dave Raposa, replied, and just like that, poof, I'm done working for Wizards of the Coast. You can't say, can't say that you stand by this. 
then blatantly use AI to promote your products. Email sent. As I Goodbye. Was to tell you, there are no you all. Left in this gun, you see? Yeah, he basically told wizards to fucking suck a big one. And the funny thing about that is he was one of their big magic artists for a while. Um, now, here's my thoughts on it. Look, you want to use AI? Okay, well, here's the repercussions to it. If you use AI to build adventures, to make art, to write books for D&D, at this point, it will not shock me if several people go, hey, you know what? The D20 system is not copyrighted. We can use it for anything we want. Why don't we just use AI to create a whole fucking gaming system and do it as a comp competitor to D&D, seeing as d and is using AI to make their shit. Um, and you can't copyright the D20 system. They've proven that in court. You can't copyright it. So basically, if they don't take a stand on using AI to make D&D content professionally, then my opinion is they deserve the coming consequences of their actions. I do not believe this is going to kill D&D. Hell, we've been through lulls before with D&D, especially in like the 80s, the 90s. It was just kind of meh. D&D uh, &D 4th edition, you know, was also a lull. So I don't think it's going to kill D&D. &D. But I do believe this is going to create another lull for D&D &D until Watsy gives up on D&D &D or learns basically either once he gives up D&D &D and lets someone else do it for them or learn to stop embracing AI to make their content. I look forward to learning more. Personally, I'm going to look forward to learning more about Pathfinder 2nd Edition. As they've already stated, they are taking a stand on their refusal to use AI uh, art and writing in their content books. So Paizo has already said, no, we're, we're not going to be an AI thing. That is going to be something we are completely against. We are taking a stand for it. Uh, not going to be a thing for us. Okay? So, th that is the update to the news and stuff. I wanted to give, like, Gamera, like, an hour and some change to get here, but he's busy. Uh, so, he will not be making it more than likely. Watch, I say that, and now he shows up. Like, I get, like, that would be funny. Um... I, personally, as a content creator, I am not using AI to write my book. That's not going to be a thing. I'm not going to touch it. It's I'm going to leave it the fuck alone. And I am going to basically stick with what I'm doing book-wise. Yes, it means the art for my book is more expensive. It'll take me longer to get done because I'll have to write everything by hand. But if I'm going to be brutally honest, it's basically better worth it i i cannot in good conscience use ai for anything i plan to make money on ever that that's not going to be a thing like i'll use ai art or ai music or ai whatever for personal use to, to like make this fun little so funny haha -ha song or something like that but also anytime i give that music or i use it on my stream I have modified it at some point. I have put it into my audacity. I have made changes to it. I have worked with it. Uh, sometimes I'll use the text-to-speech um, stuff to do the singer. So it'll sound like... But I use that for, like, techno music very much. Because it kind of sounds right for techno. Not so much for rock, I've noticed. I've tried it on a few rock and, like, country songs, and it just... It doesn't sound right. It sounds really messed up. So there is that. Like, I've... Ah, oh, Dino Dion Rex. Hey, buddy. How's it going, friend? Oh, yes, you were playing uh, Robot Dinos. Hopefully that, uh, you did fairly well. Oh, excuse me. All right, we're gonna put those there. Put a door. Let's leave them open. So that way, this counts it as a separate room.
Hey, Ghost, make sure you get those check-ins, okay? I don't know where you're from if you don't check in. So please, check in. Uh, by the way, 3, 000, uh, 300 gold coins in the channel point. As I was trying to tell you, there are no bullets left Thank in this you gun, you see. For this <laughs> I appreciate that. Observation. This is a great opportunity for slaughter. So for 300 gold coins, aka channel points, you guys can also be added to the colony. Alright? So, if that's something that's interesting to you, by all means, you can join. <coughs> oh, hey, camera. <laughs> you know, I just got done with all the news, too, and I, I'm, I'm going to have to repeat it for you because I do want your opinion on some of it. Okay. Um, all right. Let me move my mic a little closer. All right. Um... <laughs> Imposter girl cure goes slay. All right. So the first thing I wanted to bring up to you was, uh, you remember the Iron Mouse situation from before? Yes. More information has come out. Okay. Uh, the the channel has been deleted. Mm-hmm. Uh, because it did have three strikes. Right. Um, v Shoujo and YouTube both reached out to the person doing the strikes, and they refused to communicate back. Okay. Um, one of the uh, Iron Mouse's workers. What did Iron Mouse do? Uh, Iron Mouse did <clears> nothing. <throat> it was just some random asshole who basically copyright striked them three times, and no one knows why. Yeah, that's what happened. Um, the, the kind of assumption was that they did it to try and force uh, her to disclose her true identity to contest the strike. Yeah, which is basically my thought too. Because even though one of her workers, as Desu, said, no one's attempting to claim the videos to hurt her or fish for her <coughs> real life information, and I'm like sitting there going, Ezzy, then why did they do it? Right. What was the point? Especially when they don't want to talk to V Sojo or YouTube, which honestly would get them more money. Yeah. So it's kind of like that. There's got to be a logical reason for this. Um, and then she claimed uh, whoever did the strike simply probably hit the remove immediately button and that does a strike. And it's like, Ezzy, then a question, why are they still refusing to talk to V Sojo? Why can't right. no one any get a hold of them? It, it, it's, it's really dumb. Iron Mouse apparently yeah. has a legal team on the case, so they're working on it. Um, a smaller YouTube... Oh, meteorite just fell. Cool. Um... A smaller VTuber named uh, Taiga uh, basically also had their channel deleted in a similar fashion. And mm -hmm. when they reached out to YouTube to try to get help, YouTube basically said, um, we only work with partnered YouTubers to help them out. And <laughs> here's the fucked up thing. Taiga is a partnered YouTuber. Uh-huh. So it's like, the fuck? So there uh. is that. So once again, my thought process and that whole process is basically... YouTube, delete your automated copyright system. Go go to manual for a while, and then just go back to the drawing board and just make a new system because the one you have isn't fucking working. Well, honestly, if if you know someone does, just assume that this current system stays, and if someone strikes a, a channel three times, and then YouTube reaches out to them to confirm, and they don't respond. To my mind, that should automatically invalidate the strikes. Like, Oh, I agree. But their system yeah. doesn't do that. <clears throat> yeah. And that is a problem. They could make that one little tweak, though, and it would be, you know, way better. Not great, but it would, you know, improve the situation immensely. Oh, yeah, they have it so <clears throat> messed up. Uh, the next thing is apparently AJ Investments, which is a major f uh, financial firm for Ubisoft. Uh -huh. um, is really pissed off with Ubisoft. Oh? Because Star Wars Outlaws is not considered a financial success. Huh, I've seen people talking, like, well about it. Uh, apparently, like, so have I, but I've also seen people shitting on it and not just because, oh god, it's a woman. No, like, some people have pointed out, it's like, it's another one of the Ubisoft's open world bullshit things. Okay. Um, because, like, 
I, I decided today, because I was not feeling well yesterday and today, I watched some gameplay footage of it, and a lot of it is giant open world, nothing in it. You going from quest hub to quest hub. Mm -hmm. Which is a problem that Ubisoft has with a lot of their games. Uh, I don't know what IKTGS is. Uh, basically a reskin past version. It didn't feel significant or good. Okay. Yeah, it, it feels like a lot of people pointed out it's uh, similar to um, Assassin's Creed. Uh, okay. It, it, it has too many similarities to it. It's too... Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Another one of those guys? Sorry, I'm just... I'm dealing with, like, random elementals that are showing up and just wrecking my shit. Yeah, that's what happened with Far Cry Primal. I can totally agree. And, okay, there it goes. Everybody, kill the elemental, please. Okay, there it is. Dead now. Please tell me it's dead. No, it's not dead. Finish it off. There. Um. Yeah, and that seems to be a problem with Ubisoft. They, they do a lot. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because AJ Investments basically has stated that the current CEO of the company and one of the primary investors, which is Tencent, if you remember those assholes, <laughs> yeah. um, are purposely tanking the company's stock so they could buy more of it for cheaper to drive out all the other investors. Ah, venture capital bullshit. <clears throat> yep. Uh, AG Investments has suggested four possible solutions. Force the company to go private, sell the company, change the current management by ousting the CEO and his entire family. Um, oh, we got a new friend. Okay. Um, sorry. Um, so oust the CEO, his family, and, um, uh, or start a proxy fight via French minority law, apparently. Okay. Uh, the process they have in mind would be optimizing staff levels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know what that's a euphemism for. Uh-huh. That's what they said. It's like optimizing staff levels. Um, now, there are people who are claiming that Ubisoft's game design problems have been due to woke ideologies, da 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 You know, the same song and fucking dance. That's dumb as shit. Because, as we both discussed earlier, uh, like in previous streams, woke ideology, yeah. uh, progressive or woke ideologies by the fucking numb nuts. Um, don't ruin games. There are plenty no. of, of progressive games out there that do well, that have people yep. who have progressive ideologies. That's yep. not the problem. It's companies taking shortcuts to get more profit and then wondering why the players aren't playing their incomplete games. Woke isn't real. There's no definition for it. I, I agree. I use the term just because Basically, people are assholes, and I'm using it to piss <clears throat> the people who use it off. Yeah, it's there was actually just a, a study that I saw this last week uh, about the go woke, go broke uh, uh, bullshit, and it's just not true. Um, in fact, many things that people deride as woke, like diversity and inclusion, and inclusion initiatives, tend to make companies stronger and better. Um, but yeah, I mean, can there be a game that's like, oh, this is for this niche, uh, topic, you know, to address this particular social justice issue and it also happens to be a bad game? Sure. But the, the, the fact that it is social justice does not make it good or bad, you know? Yeah. Um, and people are just angry that this game is implicitly criticizing my worldview because it doesn't share my worldview. All right, so Gamera, I'm going to send you a couple of pictures. So okay, keep in mind, these are examples of some VTubers who um, are. I'll send you a picture. All right. Okay. The woman on top. All right. Got a sexuality alert from Twitch, saying that she was sexualizing her content. Okay. The women on the bottom did not. Good. 
Do you see a fucking problem? Yeah. Yeah. Like... Is that, uh, Zen? Yeah, that's Zentrea. She just got one today. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? I know Twitch has some really bizarre rules about swimsuits and under boob and all these different rules about what you can and can't show. Um, but holy shit, you know, you've got a bunch of chicks who are literally naked except for black sensor bars. Yeah, and they get to put the people's names on the sensor bars by, by whoever donates the most money or most gifted subs. Yeah. It's like, guys, the fuck? It, it is the hypocrisy of it that pisses me off. It's not that, oh, no, naked women. I'm like, no, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Like, who gives a fuck? No, it's it's more of the VTubers. Inconsistency. Yeah, the VTubers are wearing more and mm -hmm. getting more hitting them than the fucking naked women are. It's yeah. It's like, what happened? It, it just, it's so bizarre. Um, another one who got hit with it is Fifi. She got hit with sexuality uh, ban again. And this is her seventh ban. Mm -hmm. And she even has lawyers talking to Twitch going, what the fuck? Yeah. Because at this point, I feel like that's what needs to be done. Is like, fucking, the law needs to get involved and be like, you need to chill. Yeah. It, it, it's just, it's kind of ban bananas. And then, yeah. Massive lawsuit would help. Yeah, I, if enough VTubers got together and did it, including like VSojo and a few other major groups, you know, that might get Twitch's attention. I mean, like. Maybe so. <clears throat> I don't know. It's just, it's bizarre. It's dumb. It annoys the shit out of me. Yeah, no, kick is not competition. No. I, not I, really. I, I know some people are like, what do you mean that it's not competition? No, it's kick is not competition. It is... Kick literally uses Amazon's servers to do their streaming. They are literally paying Twitch to do Twitch. Sorry, I, I, I'm reading about something, and I, I just an unrelated but nerdy note. There's apparently a new social media app where you can select what kind of followers you want to have, and they make AI bots that follow you that provide the, the kind of feedback that you want. It's basically social media equivalent of playing first-person shooters, but all the other players are bots. <laughs> that's weird. And, yeah, yeah no. that that's... That's just so bizarre. All right. Well, guess what? We're about to talk about AI as well. Right on. Are you ready for this? this? Sure. This came, by the way, from a Goldman Sachs conference. And uh, from what I've been able to read up, this has been confirmed. Okay. Chris Cox has admitted that D&D has used AI to write their books. I, I have seen that Wizards has uh, suddenly this week become more open, like, yeah, you're going to see more AI in our stuff. No, no, not even just openly admitted that they're going to be using it. They've I, already done it. Yes, uh, sorry, my comment was extending upon that. Yeah, okay, my bad. Um, so, yeah, he, uh, Chris Cox claims, by the way, uh, says the following. All of his friends are using AI for their D&D games, which is apparently a clear signal that we need to be embracing it. He claims that uh, the people, that all of his friends that he's talking about, are the 30 to 40 people a week he plays D&D with. Huh. Uh-huh. Hey, Ange! Uh, he stated, inside of development, we've already been using AI, and we'll yep. be deploying it more significantly and liberally and internally. Oh, thank yep. you, Dino, for the 50 <clears throat> bits for Biddy or Albert. He'll play with those in the back. He's got quite a stockpile today. Um, and yeah, so I I gave a bad I gave an example of a bad use for AI. Uh, you remember the fast API thing? Fast API it doesn't ring a bell. But... All right. So someone used AI to come up with a job request 
or to find workers to do the job. Okay? And it was an okay. HR person who wrote this. Yeah. Uh, the AI told them, told them they should put four years of fast API coding knowledge. Here's the problem. Yeah. The creator of fast API, Sebastian Ramirez, did not qualify for the job. Why? Because he invented fast API a year and a half before the job posting went up. Oh, th this is one of the oldest problems in uh, IT, especially. Um, and basically, you know, the, the company, it's like, I'm looking for 10 years of Java experience when Java was like four years old. Yeah. It's basically people who are idiots writing job requirements because they don't actually understand what the uh, what the actual environment is, what the history of the components are. If you're looking for 10 years of experience of something that hasn't existed for 10 years, you're a moron and you should lose your job yeah. to be filled by someone who actually understands things. Now, I was like, okay, I want to see what Wizards of the Coast's like, stance on AP, uh, AI was. And mm -hmm. this is what they stated on their fucking website. Magic in D&D &D has been built on innovation, ingenuity, and hard work of talented people who sculpt these beautiful, creative games. As such, we require artists, writers, and creatives contributing to Magic the Card Game and D&D &D Tabletop RPG to refrain from using AI generative tools to create Final Magic or D&D &D products. Hmm. <sighs> yep, Imposter Cure, I saw that quote too. It says it's really sad uh, because all AI is for is for the wealthy to access a skill without the skill being able to access wealth. Yes, I saw that a similar quote to that on social media. Yeah, it's wealth to access skill without skill being accessed wealth. That is so true. That is a very like... accurate thing. Um, now, do you know who Dave Raposa is? Name does not ring a bell. Um... You don't have any magic cards still, do you? I, I do own some magic cards. I just don't play them. I, okay. I the, stuck them in a closet. The reason why I asked that is because if you look at the artist who's done most of the artwork for Magic the Gathering, it's Dave Raposa. Okay. He was their primary artist between 2004 and 2012. Okay. All right, his, this is what his response was when he found out that basically uh, Chris Cox said, we're using AI. He goes, he goes, and just like that, poof, I'm done working for Wizards of the Coast. You can't ah. say you stand against this and then blatantly use AI to promote your products. Email sent. Goodbye to you all. Yeah. Like, they lost 100%. one of the main artists. Now, here's my thing. If they use AI to build adventures, to make art, to write their books, at some point, this is not going to shock me, that we'll see several people come up with a similar system to theirs using AI to build it because you can't copyright the D20 system. Um, and right. if they don't stand, take a stand against using AI to make D&D content professionally, then fuck them. They deserve the consequences of their actions. Well, you know, you, you allude to the problem there, but it's twofold because, you, one, you can't copyright a rule system, just a particular expression of a rule system, and you can't copyright something generated by AI. So if you generate, if you use AI to generate most of the other content around the system, you've got nothing you can legally copyright. Like, yep. because no person wrote the stuff that you can actually copyright, which is just dumb. It's so dumb. Now, here's my thing. There have been a, plenty of people screaming from the rooftops on, online saying, this is going to kill D&D. &D. You know, AI is going to be the death of D&D. &D, da, da, da. I'm like, hear me out. It ain't going to kill D&D. &D, all right? No. We, we've dealt with lulls before. I mean, we dealt with the satanic panic, and we dealt with, you know, D&D &D having a, you know, a lull in the 80s, 90s, all right? Not the end of the world. Um, and I think, honestly, if, you know... Wizards of the Coast doesn't, you know, give up on either giving D&D to another company that won't use AI or stop embracing AI to make their content, then at that point, we're just going to get another D&D &D lull. And I look forward to learning more about Pathfinder 2 at that point then. 
Mm -hmm. Because at that point, I'm like, fuck it. They, they don't deserve my money. Yep. It's like Walcom who uses art to promote tablet for artists. Yeah. It is, it is incredibly bad. It's incredibly shitty. And it just aggravates me, too. I actually, I believe it actually might impact it significantly. There are a thousand other better systems than D20 based already. Uh, source material, two Savage Worlds. Hey, Blinerd. Um, Wacom used AI art to sell tablets to artists. Oh, man. That That's Ooh. fucked. That's funny. Uh, do you have a time limit tonight, by the yep, way, Ruby? I do. Okay. So I actually have to raid out here in a second. <clears throat> but, I mean... Just briefly, yes, I think that it could impact D&D, &D, but D&D &D as a brand and the consciousness, I think, will stay around in, in some form. It's like Star Trek and Star Wars, man. It's it's never going to go away permanently. It just might take a little vacation. Yeah. And, and that's honestly what's probably going to happen is we're going to see Pathfinder resurge again because yeah. um, they surged when 4th edition came out. Yeah. And... We'll probably see Pathfinder surge up and we'll call it a day. And they'll be just fine. Um, but there there was all that. And yeah, so whoever's watching this VOD later on YouTube, you probably heard me say the same information like three times. <laughs> but that's okay, because I wanted opinions. You know, the first time I was just talking to almost myself and the second two times I was like, Massive players in the promotion save move there. System Critical Role has mentioned leaving D&D &D once their contract is so Critical Role has already done that. They did uh, yeah. a Candela Obscura or something like that. Candela Obscura, yeah. yeah. Um, don't get me wrong. Matt Mercer's a great DM. Uh, he, he's really good with his players. He can't do shit for content. <laughs> Anytime he makes custom content, it's either horribly broken or horribly underpowered. Yeah, I mean, his his style is very vibes first, so... Yeah. And it is what it is. Anyway, uh, join me tomorrow for Wild Card Wednesday, where I will be playing Spyro the Dragon again, because uh, no one has changed it yet, so more dragon time. And then Friday is Fable Friday, where we'll be playing more Traviel. And hopefully the party doesn't die because they're fighting something that doesn't like to stay dead. <laughs> um, please make sure you're taking care of yourselves, both mentally and physically, because that's always important. Um, and I know you come to my wonderful Resplendent Tavern for the wit witty banter, but you stay for my fuck-ups. Until then, I'll catch you all tomorrow, hopefully. Toodles. Toodles. Toodles.